guys, I'm just going to show you how to do a quick at home heat treatment of 1075 steel. So I've got my plank cut out, it's only 3.2mm thick and I'll be using uh, a little burns o -Matic Mat Pro gas torch. Uh, these are fairly accessible, you can get them at Bunnings, um, but for not that much more you can actually get a proper forge burner, keep that in mind. I've got a little piece of heat brick here to insulate the blade from the other side because I'm trying to make the most of the heat that's coming out of this torch. Here I've got Horton's G Medium Quench. It's going to be uh, probably the optimal thing to use, but you'll be perfectly fine with 1075 steel using some vegetable oil. And then I have a magnet because as we know, 1075 and 1084 become non-magnetic when they reach the right temperature to be quenched into oil. So, I'm going to begin by preheating the handle and the spine of the blade. So this is going to be a cherry red colour, I've just got to chase the heat around a little bit to uh, try and even it out. I'm really only concerned with having it the right colour right at the edge of the blade. I'm sure if I test it on the magnet now it should still stick. Yeah. See, using a small torch like this does take some time.
the blade back and forth. You don't want to wash it side to side. It's going to be bad. It can lead to cracking and warping. But as you can see, it does take a fair while with one of these small torches. Um, and as I said, not that much more. You can actually get a small economy burner. It'll do a uh, much better job, much faster. After this, I'll grind back some of the scale and check it with some hardness files, just to make sure that we got to the temperature we wanted. And then it'll be into the oven twice on 200 degrees for two hours, two times. Test that with uh, just a file from the workshop. You can feel that's not biting, it's just sliding off. 